So, anyone that knows me knows that I'm making an indie game. And if you're wondering how I got my stage from looking like this, to this, stick around. Sonic Generations. Sonic Generations is a game that achieves one thing in its level Chemical Plant X2, and that's making the character feel powerful. Like, like, here's what I mean, right? When you first get to Chemical Plant, it's your typical affair. Your beeps, your boops, your remix from Sonic 2. It's Chemical Plant through and through, just like how you remember it. Good fun. Then, you get to Act 2, and woo! Shit! The song kicks in with the alarms going off like you're in trouble. Like you know Sonic's gonna wreck some shit, you feel me? Like the rock music kicks in in full swing, and now you're blasting through an older level with a different perspective. Like Sonic doesn't just clear a complaint here, no, no, no. He destroys it! Like just imagine classic Eggman just like shitting himself watching this from like his lair. Like, look at the stage when classic Sonic finishes it. Now look at the state of the plant after modern clears it. paints the picture separating Sonic's growth as a character and sheer strength alone very clearly. These guys, they're the same guy, but they're not the same guy. Sonic did not used to be that guy. You're not that guy, pal. This ain't your grandpa's chemical plant zone, you feel me? And that's the kind of power I want to give to the players. Okay, hear me out. So initially, this stage was based off of Rootop Rampage from Crash to Insanity. The gothic theme, the hostile environment, the music, oh my god! <laughs> Y'all gotta understand, I grew up on Billy and Mandy, so this stuff just appeals to me. The craziness of the music, the bus destroying the level behind you? The stage was so wacky and that's what I wanted. So I started working on the stage. Then I commissioned a composer to do the track for the stage and um... Like, no offense, the song is fine in a Target went to sale commercial, but the composer took so long with it that I didn't want to trouble him again, so I took the song to my little brother, amazing animator, check him out by the way, and paid him to remix the song, and we got this! It goes so insane that I knew I needed to bring my A game for this heat! So I changed the color palette from these dull grays to this purple since they play so much better with D-Man's color scheme. There was this one section where we took control of a giant penguin robot which I already thought was pretty funny, but then, you know, I thought, well, what if, you feel me, you did that, and the world was on fire, and the penguins exploded when you touched them, and you rolled at the torpedoes destroying all those that pursue you! And you spin off these little trapeze poles. The main gimmick of the game is that I want players to have no idea what to expect in each level so that I can truly let my imagination go wild with these levels. This level specifically is going to be available at stage 23 later this year. Come stop by and give it a play when you can. Things are only going to get crazier in the full game, trust me.